Hi, this is Suzanne here from eft-scripts.com and um, I just want to show you a little bit of progress and this is me, size 12. Remember I was struggling to get into size 12 and I had this huge thing here. Well, is a bit of it. Let's see this t-shirt as you can see um, I used to wear before so trying to get this camera right. There's a little bit here but that's it not like that picture like that previous video that I showed you so I'm quite quite happy with progress even though it's a little bit slower than I want it to be. It's kind of hard with this camera to tell which way am I um, because it's flipped the other way around. <laughs> um, okay so um, yes I need to be like this. I'm, I'm a bit at an angle so, so you get a little bit of uh, entertainment along with your video what can I say. So, um, I thought about, I need to record a video, uh, today is the first day that I have done, uh, the second day I think, that I have done a full program on my progress sheet since eight months when I was very very busy with a project at work and with a visit to my children and grandchildren and so it kind of things got in the way of me recording my progress but um, as you can see I have somehow or other um, just because my beliefs about food have changed and everything is you know so many things have changed I have been tapping on a daily basis I've I've been tapping regularly um, whenever I got any uncomfortable thoughts on any of the tapping points and let them go as they happen. I have left a few of them to Festa. I've tried to record some videos but they were rather not not, not, not ones that I would like to share and so you know that's where that comes from. Um, so I've, I've just come back from the gym having done what's on my program which is uh, 400 calories on the aerobic machines in intervals. Um, intervals are really amazing and if you want to source for inter interval training um, I, re I recommend my favorite is www.mercola.com and um, search his site for interval training. He's, he's got some interesting ones. Um, I, I discovered interval training by myself before anybody told me what it was and then I heard the word, the word interval and so I started using it for my training not knowing that I was actually doing it and so it was really nice to see it formalized and, and, and know that it's, it's, it's done. It's, it's a um, it's supposed to be better for your heart, um, which I'm not the expert on, by the way. So, so don't take what I'm saying as expertise about exercise. But what I, I can definitely say, it certainly seems to help me a lot, and um, it helps me with my breathing, which is the problem that got me to put on weight in the first place through illness and and medication, and. Um, it it feels better. It's it's like I I put a song on and then when there's a crescendo I go into an interval, like a really fast fast interval or a really strenuous interval. So it's either st strenuous or extra fast or both that I do in 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 that interval. And then it's getting getting um uh, sorry it's it's, it's getting out of the interval giving yourself a rest and then going back to the normal so when you have a rest you're doing like a like a base 
um, baseline training. I'm not, not the best person to describe it, but it's it's like you 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 can do it with any aerobic machines at the gym, or you can do it running, or speed walking, or if you have a treadmill at home, or if you have a bike or whatever. I I just always found it really 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 much better than um, just going on and on and on and on and on at the same speed that would drive me completely bonkers that really would I, I would just get so bored um, but intervals yeah it's great it, it really does it for me so um, it's 400 400 calories on uh, doing aerobic training with intervals and um, doing one class at the gym so that's uh, that's a full one uh, it, in my program I have three things I have to either eat under 2000 calories which with me I mean I'm full of energy as you can see I'm always moving around you know I'm, I can't say still can I so um, it's, it's me I, I use up more energy obviously than the average person so I just can't sit still and um, I, I'm always very active and always sort of walking somewhere or whatever so so that's that's why to me it's it's under 2,000 calories and I'm, I'm not kind of trying to compare myself to anybody else and saying oh well somebody else is lesser or whatever you know I see I keep trying to adjust myself because I think oh this camera is like this so anyway without boring you too much what do I want to tap on today that might help you as well? I thought about it on the way from the gym. Um, I don't know if I'll, I'll, I'm going to choose three subjects and then you can choose from them and tap along with me, okay? I thought it could either be something that triggers you not to carry on or triggers you to go and eat that chocolate cake or um, that bag of chips or whatever it is you know um, that y you know is is actually bad for you probably causes heart attacks and cancer and all sorts of yucky things so it's it's not just about weight it's about health uh, uh, you know what is it that triggers you like if you could f uh, watch a film of your life is there any point in that film that there is one part of that film or maybe like a you're watching a series of episodes of your life and you arrive at an episode where that one as you think about it makes you want to eat and eat that's what you can tap on for me I know what it is I've I've I'm lucky I've, I've, I'm I've been an EFT practitioner for a long time and by the way I'm tapping so you might want to start tapping with me because if if something triggering has come up for you it's a good idea to start tapping for it doesn't matter how big or small it is for me what triggers me is the thought that I thought of getting on the scales. I still can't do it. And so ask yourself on a scale from 10 to 0, as you think of that thing that triggers you, whether it's something in your present or something in that series of episodes that you've quickly flashed by, I thought, yeah, that episode, that triggers me. On a scale from 10 to 0, where 10 is, I've got to eat and eat and eat and eat. Or I've got to lie in bed, I can't do anything, I can't do a workout, I can't even go out for a walk. Oh, I just don't want to know anything about this weight loss. Um, just go away. And 0 is, yeah, that's fine, oh well, you know, it's only that thing. Ask yourself on a scale from 10 to 0, what number does it give you? And then we can tap. So, 
just give you my example and and I do apologize if it seems like a trite example or an unimportant example to you it's actually a big issue for me um, I can't bear the thought of weighing myself I have not done so for years even though I have lost quite a bit of weight I cannot bear to weigh myself and the thought of going on those scales is 9.78 probably we're getting into double decimal figures because there's lots of lots of aspects so whatever your number is let's tap on it and to make it easier that episode or that thing that triggers you be very very specific um, the name of the episode perhaps or know that it's that episode, that thing that you're going to tap on, that specific thing. So if it was an episode, you, you're, you're looking at the title of the episode perhaps, as it's about to play or as it's just played on, on the TV screen in front of you. Okay? And I'm looking, literally, I'm looking at a picture of me weighing myself on the scales um, at the gym, I wouldn't even do it at home, that's, that's too advanced. Um, because that would be in front of my spouse and I, um, no, 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 Okay, so, um, try to make it as specific as possible. And now I'm at a 9.79 or something like that, so tap along with me. even though I have this feeling about this thing I just want to move on even though it upsets me when I think of this thing it's getting in the way of my permanent calm and peaceful weight loss somehow or other and I just want it out of the way even if it doesn't feel safe to let go of this as yet that's okay I'll go with that I honor my feelings anyway Even though I have this feeling about this thing, I'm just fed up with having this thing. I just don't want to let it go. It's only energy. Just want to let it go. And tap on top of your head. It's only energy. This thing that bothers me, or this thing that upsets me, may even be a thing that devastates you I just want to let it go and just tap along with me even if it brings tears or whatever they just tap along with me you don't need to say anything just tap along this thing this thing I've been holding on to it all this time. I just want to let it go. This thing. Oh. This thing. It's only energy. I've been holding on to it all this time. I want to let it go. I want peace and calm in my life. I don't want to eat it away. I want to let go of its energy. 
out and let this energy go. This thing. This thing that triggers me in that episode. Oh, I just want to let it go. I just want to let it go. I can safely let it go. I want to safely let it go. I want to have peace with it. Oh, this thing. I want to have peace with it. This thing. This thing. This thing in this episode. Just have a deep sigh or a yawn. Hmm. This thing in this episode that triggers me. I want to let it go. Tap again here and just have a sigh or a yawn. Mm. Have a rest. So I look at my episode. Um, on a scale from 10 to 0, where 10 is the biggest it could be and 0 is nothing, it's a 7 now. So I feel a bit better about it. But, um, Oh goodness, I'm scared of letting go of this fear, this feeling, this upset. Because if I let go of it, there may be consequences. That's how I feel. Um, for me personally, about and tap along with me. For me personally, I feel that if I let go of the fear of going on the scales, then I'm going to go on the scales and I'm going to be disappointed and then I am just going to eat and 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 eat in order to cope with my disappointment. Maybe for you, it feels like if you let go of that part of the episode, then you might have to forgive someone, or it might mean that what they did was okay. That's not true. It it doesn't mean that what they did was okay. It just means that you're letting go of it so that you can be healthier, so that you can have peace in your life for your own well-being. So you're just letting go of it for you. You're not letting them off the hook, as it were. So, 
with that in mind, let's carry on tapping. Even though I have this feeling about this thing, this episode, or this part of this episode, it's only energy. I just want to let it go. And that's okay. Even though I fear of letting it go, I don't know if you do, but I'm just adding it in in case you do. Just in case there are consequences. What if there aren't any? And I just don't know that as yet. I'm willing to look into that possibility. And I'm willing to let go of this. Not for anyone else. But for me. Because I deserve to be free from it. Oh. <sighs> Because I want to be free from it. Because I choose to be free from it. Because I desire to be free from it. I just want to let it go. I'm fed up tapping on this stupid thing. I just want to let it go. This episode. I just want to let it go. Even if part of me doesn't want to let it go yet, that's okay. I'll take it step by step. And I'll keep tapping on it even after this video. I can replay the video and keep tapping on it. And let it go. I just want to have peace with this. I just want to clear my energy of this. I want calm. I want safety. I want safety and peace. I don't want to have to worry about consequences. Because they might not even happen. And I want to let go of this for my own peace. For my own personal peace. For my own progress. For my own happiness. For my own calm. I choose and I desire to let go of this. Keep tapping here and give me a sigh or a yawn. If this is triggering a bigger reaction in you, don't worry, just tap along. You don't need to say anything, just tap along. And keep re replaying this video until it's gone. Even if it takes a few sessions, a few days or a few weeks, just tap along and let it go from your system. This thing. I want peace with it. I want to let it go. Hmm. Oh goodness, as I think about my episode, thinking of myself, weighing myself at the gym, it's giving me two numbers, as from a 10 to 0, it's giving me a 3 and a 5. So that means that there are two aspects to it. I don't need to identify the two aspects, I can just tap on them. Okay? So, um, I want you to evaluate your own episode and see on a scale from 10 to 0 how you feel about it. Do you feel like going out and eating all the biscuits, chips or nuts or dried fruit or 
um, pie or cake or whatever it is that you know you you overeat on or or or, or does it make you feel like sitting in bed and doing nothing or just loafing in front of the TV and not doing your walking or swimming or yoga or running or gymming or whatever activity you choose them to do um, I think on a scale from 10 to 0 what number does it give you now and for me um, as uh, just as I'm talking about this and my energy is processing it's, it's, it's kind of settling on a 4 not even a 3 to 5 it's a f more like a 4 um, and so I'm just going to tap on it one more time and um, then you can replay the video if you want to and replay it on various different episodes where as you think about them it, it, it feels like it can stymie your efforts okay even though I have this thing I have this feeling about this thing it's only feeling, it's only energy, and I just want to let it go. It's only a feeling, it's only energy. Even if it really upsets me, I can let it go. Even if it doesn't feel safe to let it go as yet, I desire to let it go. When the time is right, when I feel safe enough, and that's okay. I want to let this go safely and calmly. I want peace with it. I deserve to have peace. I choose to have peace. Even if I don't feel I deserve to have peace, I can still choose to have a little bit of peace. That's okay. No matter how I feel, I just want to be calm. And I want to let go of this. And that's okay. goodness for me it feels much better it's more like a 1 out of 10 like I keep saying um, I'm, I've been an energy worker since 1999 so I let go of energy very quickly if if you don't let go of energy as quickly as I do please 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 don't worry just keep replaying this video and dabbing along until you're at a point of peace with this. Wishing you peace and happiness always.